Hi guys. So tonight we are going to be looking at energies for August and my all signs. I'm going to do two cards to express what might be going on in August. Yeah, because I have to start you guys readings for August too. I'm going to be doing once a month general um, readings for each sign and then I'm going to continue to do my dailies. So I'm going to do two cards and get just the general energy really quickly. It's going to be a quick read, you guys. But you know, all my reads are informative. I'm going to get what I can get out of them. Hopefully I can do two. It's never due. Timestamps will be listed below. In the um, detail box, is that what it is? The detail description, bingo, description box. Not yet. Okay, so I'm gonna start um, Aries off at two even. All right, Aries, hello, come sit down. Thank you guys. Three of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's waiting for some money to come in in August. Either you're waiting for some money to come in or you're waiting on a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Or it could be a father figure. We'll read more into that in a read. Thank you guys. Next. Gemini. Oh, Taurus. Sorry. Taurus, we're going to start you off at 248. Okay? Taurus. I didn't drop my pen. Taurus. Taurus. Two cards for Taurus. Dang, four came out. King of Cups with the moon. Alright, so if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Specifically a Cancer or a uh, Pisces. There are some secrets. Okay. Goodbye. Three. Twenty. Hello, Gemini. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. We have the Emperor and the Devil. Somebody is wanting to control you. This can be a Aries or... Or a Capricorn or just someone taking on that energy this person is very controlling okay next cancer we're gonna start you off at 350 cancer hello cancer hello cancer give me two cards five of Pentacles ten of wands all right um, someone is being left out in the cold maybe you're leaving someone out in the cold However, way that resonates, we'll have to find out in your uh, reading because, yes, we have a decision that we have to make with the Two of Swords. Bye, Cancer. We are going to start my Leo off at 425. Hello, Leo. Queen of Wands, that could be you or another uh, fire sign with the Nine of Pentacles. Someone is either acting really single and loving it, or there is a situation going on where um, you might be single and someone is coming in trying to offer you passion. However, where that goes, they are going to be moving very fast with the chariot at the bottom of the deck. All right, Leo. Goodbye. Good night. Have a good one. 
Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. We are going to be starting my Virgos off at 5.01. Virgo, hello. How are you? Knight of Pentacles, that's your energy. Okay, with the Five of Swords. All right. So someone's trying to come in and offer something to someone, but someone's being petty. Could be you trying to offer something to a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If so, this person with the Ace of Cups loves you, but they're petty boots. Okay, so we are going to start off with Libra. Goodbye, uh, Virgo, because I feel like you're still there. I feel your energy. Virgo, I mean, Libra, we're going to start you off at 539. Okay. Ooh, immediately. Libra, King of Swords, look at you and your energy. Everybody is showing up in their energy. Nice. Okay. With the Three of Swords. All right, so somebody is heartbroken about a relationship that's not working out. Yeah, I feel like uh, potentially this could be you either breaking someone's heart or being brokenhearted about a situation. Um, all right, I don't want to clarify. I said two cards. We're trying to stick to it tonight. Goodbye, you guys. Next up, Scorpio. I'm going to start Scorpio off at 620. Hello, Scorpios. Five of Cups. Look, that's your energy. Uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Four of Cups. I'm sorry. That's the Four of Cups. Yep. You are... Um, dealing with some type of ending or maybe you're rejecting someone after they have already tried to end things with you or they're rejecting you after you ended things with them however where it goes there's definitely some type of rejection and some communication coming in from the person that might have rejected you or you might be rejecting someone in that communication all right next uh squirt Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I want to start you off at 5, at 7.08. All right, Scorpio. I mean, Sagittarius. Bye, Scorpio. You're still in my energy. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With the World card. Okay, so something's coming to an end here. Either this cycle that you guys are in might be coming to an ending with the relationship or maybe you guys are starting something over after uh something that you guys needed to close out yep with the sun card uh could be a leo but someone is trying to make you happy or you're trying to make someone happy all right goodbye next person is going to be capricorn capricorn i'm going to start you off at 755 all right cappy ten of swords there's an ending going on here yeah and now you need to make a decision about what you're going to do next. Could have been with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. However, I do see you completely ending this off. That there may be a betrayal or something that absolutely made sure that it was over. I don't know. 8, 17, Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. Sit down. You might not even want to sit down because as fast as I'm doing this reading tonight. The Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Capricorn Virgo with Taurus with the strength card. I feel like you're needing to have strength with something that someone is going to come in and um, offer you or you are actually holding back from an offer or somebody coming to you with something small because they're moving too slow. Yeah, it's confusing you. You don't know what to do. I'm surprised because Aquarius is usually know everything. Anyways, moving forward. Um... Aquarius, Pisces, Pisces, okay, Pisces, two cards for Pisces, please, two cards for Pisces, please, exactly two cards, okay, so we have the eight of wands and the five of pentacles, so are you communicating with someone who potentially left you out on a cold or makes you feel abandoned, yep, whoever it is, they're uh, rushing into you with passionate communication with the eight of wands, bye, Pisces, collectives 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 i didn't even get pisces uh time sugar honey iced tea okay pisces well i'll take it as 8 30 because i definitely 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 if it's not i'll go back and change it but anyways collectives collectives i'm going to start you off at nine 
58. All right, collectives. Two cards for collectives. High Priestess with the five. Okay, so you know intuitively that someone is being petty as hell. And whoever this is that's being petty is also watching. Yeah, because they love you and they do see a future with you. However, this person might have been dealing with someone else. That seems to be the storyline with this person that's running in and out. I feel like this person is running through all 12 of the Zodiac signs. All right, good night, you guys. Thank you, and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that all readings are general, and they may or may not resonate. Thank you. Good night.